So hi and welcome back to Scene and Outs. We have finished the quest last time where we lost Soldier, but it might live. I'm not sure. So let's check out the uh, armory. So let's see if he kind of died or not. Looks like he disappeared. Yeah. He did. Oh well. That's too bad. Because he died, but he had like 2 HP left on the screen afterwards. Oh well. Anyway, I have a really important thing to do, first of all. And that is to name my first soldier. So. I just have to find someone that looks like him. Hmm. A lot of girls. Let's go with this one. Rename Soldier. So this is Lars Hellström, like that. And he's a lieutenant. Welcome, Lars. So. Uh, so what's up in our base? We are researching improved combat armor, and that should be finished soon. And we are building another foxtrot. And after we finish building this foxtrot, I think we will be building we will be building some of this armor if it's complete before that. So that's what's happening. Um, we do have some money, but I don't think I can afford a, another base right now. Um, I don't really. I'm not really able to afford more buildings either. I think I should just save them. So we have another UFO, and this is a small one. So this might be one of those um, scouts, I think. So let's bring one fox dot and one condor to handle it. Come on, come back here. Hmm. Yeah. Can send one fox trot or one uh, corner, I guess, but yeah, that guy. <laughs> yeah, I miss both of them. Um, I need to know if. I can just fight them with a single, like a single uh, fox shot, or if I need two of them. So we got some more engineers. They can start building some stuff as well. Let's scramble one condor again. So how about my fox shot? 34% fuel. How about now then? Soon. I think you need 50% fuel. Okay. 1% <laughs> chance for victory. Yeah, that's not worth it. Let's see if we can uh, get our Foxtrot to fight it instead. Like this. So hopefully two of these uh, avalanche torpedoes will be enough. You can move really slowly like this. Because all you have to do is fire your torpedoes and then get the hell out of there. So like that. Yeah, so that's enough. So these fox dots are perfect for handling these scouts right now, which means I should build or get some fox dots to this base in America. America. So let's uh, equip our dropship. So we have one more slot. We have sniper, heavy weapon, rifle, mine, pointments, and a shield guy. So we have one with stun, baton, platoon. I 
think we need another rifleman so I can just bring any, any of these average type guys. I might bring this one. Um, so equip default gold equipment like that. He has some more uh, uh, weight he can use. So let's remove one of his smoke grenades like this and the flashbang as well and just give him a couple of these stun grenades. Go like this. I might have to wait a little bit more. Now it should be a perfect time to use my Charlie. It will take four hours to get there so yeah it will be daytime for sure. It's so slow, this dropship, it's incredible. So, this is like the first time. No, we are still in the bottom corner. This map looks quite uh, the same as one of them before, but that's okay. So let's bring our scouting vehicle in front. And um, I guess I will use the same route as before. I think the last time the UFO was in that top corner bring our sniper somewhere around here. Might actually use my tank as a cover. I want to cover a lot of ground while I have the chance. And we have a security guard over here as well so looks clear. Actually, give our sniper some proper cover as well. So now I made almost too much progress, I think. I don't want to leave my other point man behind. Mm. I don't like this <laughs> door in my. My flank, but what's what's the odds? Okay, that guy was finished quickly. Looked like the shots come from inside this. Hmm, should be over here somewhere. Well, I cannot shoot anymore with this, with these time units. Okay, there we have one. It's a season, so which is good to know. We'll not be able to find a good uh, firing angle, I think. Let's continue. I might get shot in the back, but nah. Shouldn't happen. Famous last words. Take cover behind that bus stop. don't like these angles because I think that you should sit over here almost. So it's hard to know which is the correct position. And one problem is that one of these guys they can do a lot of 
damage. Let's try to catch up with the other guys with this one. And just wait for the next turn. Too bad that he killed that security guard because that was a nice <laughs> cannon fodder. I don't know if they shot some a person because that was some crazy, crazy sound. Okay, should be over there somewhere. You cannot see him. This van blocks the view, so should be kind of safe. But you're never safe in XCOM or in Xenonauts, for that matter. actually get shot from over here if I stand there so I will have to move I have this rifleman this looks clear over here so I think he ran away so I should be safe to stand here because I will have to make some ground Let's take cover behind that uh, window. Okay, psionic attack. Hmm. Don't like the fact that he ran away like this. And I cannot move through these concrete things. Where can they be? This makes me a bit nervous. Let's move our scout car in front. It should be able to take at least one one shot, so... Like this, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, we got enemy contacts. This is a little bit of a problem because if he starts running towards us, we might get killed or overwhelmed. Um, I might actually use this guy covering this area, but I think he will need help to kill these aliens if they choose to hunt for this guy nope so the <laughs> question is if this is the same one as this or if it's the one that run around like this we or who the hell is it? That's giving automatic salvo like that and then close the door <laughs> for some reason. Okay, 
least we suppressed him. And missed twice because we suck. That's bad news, bad news bears. Yeah. We will have to make some uh, uh, aggressive movement here. Cover his ass. Down. Sit down. Might actually run with my sniper in this as well, and I will cover the back with the scout car like this, and then I will pray. So, I can fire 10 shots with my heavy weapon. Might be a good idea. I don't think I will destroy the wall and hit my own guy. I got suppressed, but that's okay. Do I have uh, the time units to move away? Nope, I do not. Well, Oh, nice one. I suppressed that guy as well. Hmm. Which means that he will not be able to shoot me. Now I'm a bit uh, concerned about shooting because this weapon might destroy the wall, I think. So let's try to use our sniper rifle instead. But I don't want to stand here after I have shot. So I could use 53 time units to do an aimed shot, but then I cannot move afterwards. So I will just use 41. And it was enough, so I did the right call this time. Still no UFO. Let's move outside with our... Well, Rafferman can move all the way over here, I think. Nah, he, this guy has lost all his morale from getting suppressed. Hmm, there's a lot of open doors over here. Might be that guy that has some fetish for opening doors and chewing bubble gums or whatever. Um, I could cover it with my rifleman, but I think it's too unsafe. Let's hide in the, hide in the corner instead. That guy panicked. Let's check if his bravery. Yeah, it's pretty low. Even if he's the melee guy, I might think that he should be quite uh, brave, but perhaps not. Or, well, he can be very brave, but. These aliens are a nasty bunch. Yeah, so take cover over there. I will bring my sniper to this, these pipes over here, and then heavy weapons can come as well. Let's 
Let's check this corner. Nothing here. There is a lot of black areas, so I'm not sure. It could be my portable cover. Like that. Can I stop attacking my poor point man? Oh, nice. We might actually start moving now. And get shot and killed. The first thing he... Alright. This is interesting. I have a door over here as well. That's quite a far away. But okay. Let's try to give him some fire support. Might as well. And there is the UFO as well. I'm opening this door because I think we have met pretty much many aliens right now so we should be kind of safe there should only be like that guy and the ones in the UFO left there is not no guarantees but don't have much choice I think he was over here somewhere. So the problem is that these usually open the doors and take pot shots. And I'm in the open like this. Let's do something like this then. You have to stand in this corner and hope that no one sees you. Hmm. Okay. We didn't see any alien movements at all. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. us. A good thing that I brought my heavy over here because the next turn she might be able to shoot at him. But I don't like my positioning that much because if I will enter the UFO from this side I will have to turn my back to the UFO, which can mean a lot of nasty things happens to me. Hmm. So I could either bring the sniper over here or I could use my sniper to cover this door. Let's use her to cover the door and uh, bring my rifleman over here instead. It should be more effective. He took a shot but he couldn't have that many time units left. And hopefully he cannot uh, use reactionary fire now. So I can only take two shots I think. Either way, so let's use these. 
It's nice. You didn't even have to bring all these guys on the fuss. Hmm. Now I'm almost disappointed. I could as well just use the uh, stunning rod. Oh well. Beggars can't be choosers or whatever it's called. <laughs> and my car is too fat to get through here. Oh my. It would take forever to move around. Hmm. Oh well, let's just do it. It's not like I have anything else to do with it then. Because we will try to breach the UFO now. We just play it safe with these guys. The other ones catch up. I hear some door openings from the UFO so but uh, my sniper doesn't see anything which is kind of strange I will let all my people take cover behind this train car this guy will look at over here he's my trusty Scout. Continue to move our scout car. I thought that these might explode, but looks like they don't. So we are soon in position. Yay! Hopefully there is no alien flanking us from this place. Nope, should be fine. And you can check one last time. Like that. At least this time we saw something. So I might actually put my rifleman somewhere around here where my scout car was able to look inside like this and hopefully you guys will not shoot each other please. What's happened? Unnerved. Okay. I guess that means she lost some bravery. Something like that. Let's wait one more turn, I think. I kind of uh, missed my uh, shotgun guy. He was one that was killed in the last episode, so... Hmm... Yeah, I don't have much choice. I have to make some progress here. I cannot even get my scout car in front of the UFO. Yeah, start playing with the front door now. Oh well. Hmm. This is so risky. Really, really risky. Yeah, free aliens. Hmm. 
No line of sight. So if I run, this guy will definitely shoot at me. I don't think he will have... Oh well, he has really good reflexes. But I don't really like to turn my back to him. Or I could throw a grenade. I have to. That actually worked. Hmm. It takes so much of this these guys time units to move inside. I cannot <laughs> close the door again. Hmm, now I might actually drive over here. That's nice. You were supposed to kill that guy, but didn't you get a memo? Hmm. Yeah, this is turning really ugly now. I get the feeling I will kind of lose everyone. Can we use a smoke grenade? That would be awesome. I don't know if it will help anything at all, but it cannot hurt. Hmm. Like this. Covering our mistakes. Pray again. He was the only one that had full full of these um, movement points. These other guys shouldn't have that many movement points left. Hmm. Let's actually try to kill this guy in the front. So. They managed to shoot at my hunter car, even though he got suppressed at the same time. That's something new. Okay, so how ballsy can we be? If you Okay, I have to move my car away. This will take 16 time units. I think that's okay. Then I can hit him twice. But once was enough. That's good. So take cover behind this, whatever it is. How much? I need 51 to shoot with my heavy weapons and with my sniper. 0% chance to shoot for the for the smoke. Mm, I will have to kill him with the pistol then. And it's not really working out for me. Nope. Should I move in with my with my uh, car hmm I might get lucky with another smoke grenade <laughs> don't know if these smokes really help that much but at least we tried I 
missed. But he brought a friend. That missed as well, so... I guess that's fine. So we need 51 time units to shoot, I think. Might actually be hard to... Oh yeah, the door is closed, that's why it takes so many time units to get inside. Hmm. Let's just fire at them with our pistol that never hits. Oh, it hit twice at least. How much do you need to use a flashbang? I have so many soldiers that it's not doing anything at all. They're just standing outside. I can hit him once with the stun baton. It might be enough, it might not. Hmm. Let's try to hit him with the heavy weapon then. Okay, at least he got suppressed. Come on, hit him again then. <laughs> nice. But yeah, you are kind of screwed. This is dangerous. Everything is dangerous. If I just had like two more time units I could bring my shield towards him. But yeah, this guy is kind of dead. But better him than my lieutenant. So yeah, please be <coughs> please be shooting on my scout car. What? I don't think you can check how much armor that is left on him. I mean, you can use the stun rod <coughs> again. It's <laughs> much better than the guns anyway. I got a. It's a bit of an anticlimactic ending. That shows the mission successful. But yeah. Plus one bravery to our heavy weapons guy because she has killed five aliens. Which is nice. 65,000 uh, cash for this. That's really nice. So here is the thing we. I think we captured a season guard, Kaysen guard, and the Kaysen Scion. That was the guy with the pistol. And we executed both. Because I think that these are like the lowest tier guys. So if you want to do more research, you will have to find uh, higher, higher tier aliens or something like that. But yeah, that went pretty well. So I think I, I will end the episode now and continue in the next one. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye.